The rain has held off at Oakbank, where another healthy crowd gathered for the second day of the racing carnival. The event concluded without any major incidents, although there were a few close calls. It's the race meeting Adelaide's been hanging out for, and for some it was worth the wait. Third, $8. Yes! <laughs> Around 42,000 came by bus, car and caravan for the world's biggest picnic racing event. Brilliant day from Manchester all the way, come to Adelaide, beautiful day. The weather's really great, Brenton Raggles was spot on. A barbecue lunch also hit the spot for many, even if the cookware wasn't best of field. You know, it's not about how big it is, is it? While outside the gates, protesters also turned up the heat on jumps racing. This sport is actually illegal in New South Wales and has been ended throughout most of the country. But Oakbank's organisers held firm in opposition. The jockey's almost come off! They try and convince people that the populace don't like jumps racing. Well, if that was the case, people wouldn't come to Oakbank. New Zealand trainer John Wheeler was more quietly confident as he prepared for a possible third successive Great Eastern steeplechase. This year, John has three horses running the big race, but he reckons his best chance lies with Taboogie Knights, who's also the reigning champion. I've got uh, the Cornella too the last two years, so... Uh... It would be nice to get the Quinella. <laughs> but it was pre-race favourite Man of Class who took out the $160,000 marquee event. It's still Man of Class in front from Taboogie Nights and Man of Class. Man of Class by a length and a half. Edward Godfrey, Nine News.